Today's episode is brought to you by Keeps. Head on over to keeps.com slash rogue. That's R-O-G-U-E and you get your first month free. Keeps, play for keeps. That's uh, it's not their <laughs> slogan. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm just telling you. That's my slogan. That's your slogan. Yeah, play, play for, for keeps. keeps. <laughs> It's weird to be a responsible adult who's on a quest to develop a deadly weapon out of household items. It's even weirder to teach people on the internet how to build deadly weapons. Even weirder is the people on the internet, uh, who I assume are all younger than us, are giving us tips on how to make it more deadly. They did give us some diabolical recipes. Now, what we did was took various sizes of balloons and basically key rings, right, and then put little BBs in them to mix degree of success. Sure, sure. Huh. So it reduced the force. <laughs> Yeah! Yeah! Oh, got him! <laughs> and, and of course, what we're doing is replicating a uh, slingshot. And a slingshot can be a deadly weapon. You can embed a big old bat piece of shot right in someone's skull and they're out forever, right? Yeah, so how can we improve that? Well, improve is a weird word. <laughs> sure. How can we make it more dangerous? Also a weird phrase. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is that we were told three things. We were told, number one, if you wanted to stop hitting your hand, which one of us had a problem with, <laughs> then we probably wanted to use the top of a soda bottle. Second of all, if we wanted to get more draw on it, we shouldn't use balloons, but instead use the fingers out of latex gloves. And finally, we had a number of people who says, hey, ball bearings are fine, but if you really want to do some damage, get yourself some kind of like stabby, jabby weapon. Stabby was the word I was going to use, and it's also one of my favorite words in my entire lexicon. <laughs> okay, all right, so we've got latex gloves, we've got barbecue skewers, we've got soda cans and duct tape, and of course, something to cut everything up. I guess we just, what, give it a try, see what happens? Uh, yeah, I think really some of the question is like, how deep do we go on the soda I bottle? I would imagine, I don't know, I, I don't want to overcomplicate it. We'll, we'll start with this one and just okay. see how that feels. Okay. You want to cut off a finger of this yep. bad boy? So I assume if it were to hit, it's going to hit this plastic thing so it forms a shield inside so you're not going to injure your finger as you go Wait, like say that, that. Say, say again what you're thinking? Mm. It wouldn't hit our fingers. I was thinking that it was going to be like that. What the? No, like, a, like a silly blunderbuss? No, yeah. no, 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 no. It's got to be like this. Are you kidding me? Mm. It fits into your hand. It protects your hand and you pull back and mm. it fires. That's got to be it. I don't know. All right. We'll, we'll I don't know. You know what? We'll try it your we'll way. We'll try both. <laughs> My way. I don't know. <laughs> you load the skewer in like this. You grab it. You pull back. Oh my God. This is going to be wicked. Simulation time. Ready? You pull back. It goes. Okay. <laughs> That's not, yeah. That was a poor Very simulation. Very impressive. <laughs> nope. Okay. All right. Forget the simulation. <laughs> <laughs> Two failed simulations. Great start. Uh, that uh, looks like uh, the middle finger. So Okay, perfect. That's the name of this device, the middle finger. <laughs> I like it. I just have it in there like that. Okay. I'm away from all the camera people and everything. Okay. I'm not even going to tape it, but watch this, watch this. Okay. Right? Simulation. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Not sold yet? I, I, I don't know. I'm still working on it. <sighs> Is your dumb blunderbuss thing the right idea? I would hate to believe that. We're about to find out. Nope, it just pokes a hole in it. It just it just is an abject list and really look, it turns out abstinence is the only way to prevent failure to kill somebody. No wonder you've got three children. <laughs> this is where I step away. <gasps> the blunderbuss is the right way to do it. Yeah, I'm thinking we should have gotten dish gloves though, because these latex gloves, they're real fragile, right? Well, so we'll double up, man. You saw yeah. American Pie? Come on. There you go. So this is, this is doubled. Yeah? You want to triple it up? What are you talking? Why are you putting it on your hand? I don't understand. Because otherwise it's very hard to get one glove inside of another. Oh. <laughs> okay. Like, this is step one. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Give me your finger. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, so there's there's three layers. Yep. And so, it, uh, see if you can get it all off now. Yeah, I don't even know that we have to get it all off. Oh, yeah. Now that these are nested, right? Okay, hold on. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, get you at all. A little bit. A, a little, little bit. bit. Okay, all right, there. Oh, Aha, just a little bit. No, I'm, yeah. I'm a okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're adults. <laughs> the definition of that word loses meaning. <laughs> With every episode. I mean, look, we're we're property owners. <laughs> we're, we're we're celebrities. <laughs> yeah, I can't even. Oh, there. Everything it is. about this scares right. me. Uh, eye protection. Oh, you want me to go get the eye protection? I'm still not giving up on the idea that maybe this is the smart way to do it. Like this, right? Okay. Yeah. Here, grab your blunderbuss. All right, ready? Ready. 
Three, two, one. Fart. Did I say fart? Uh, is that is that what you usually say? <laughs> is that how they did it in track and field day when you were a kid? I know that fart. Ready, is set. <laughs> Japan. I know that fart is German for speed. <laughs> That's a real thing. I think part of the reason they're not sailing straight is because we have these flingle doodles okay. at the end, right? Okay. So I say we just break those off. Ah, good just, call. Yep. There you go. So try that, or yeah. Got one. I got one. You got it. Okay. Okay. Preparing to fart. <laughs> Where did that come from? I don't know. <laughs> Three, two, one. Ooh. I think uh, distance, it was about the same. At some point, they run out of steam and hit wind resistance and just flutter down. What do you think the effective distance is on these? Let's go with about 15 feet. 15 right? feet? Yeah. Okay, all right. So here, let's move this over. Okay. And we'll set up, we'll set up a target. Here you go. All right, point blank range, blunderbuss, and non-crazy version. Three, two, one. <laughs> I mean, that's something. That's something. Hey, let me try another. I don't know if we're uh, terribly deadly. We're certainly annoying. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weapon of harassment at this point. All right, here we go. I'm gonna pull back really far this time. Okay. I'm gonna see how deep I can go. Three, two, one. No! Mm. Wow, the farther back I pulled, the less it wanted to shoot the right way. Okay, let me try. Hmm, this one works fine. God damn it, if the blunder bus is the right way, then I'm, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> okay, all right. God, mm. every mm. time mine's mm. like whoop, yeah. swooping off to the, yeah. All right, well, I, I do it again. Here we go. Oh, ha ha. Also, you're pregnant now, ha oh. ha. God. I'm gonna not overdo it. No, I think I wanna overdo it. Mm. Dude, does it really matter which way it goes? I think it might. They're both set up the same way, so I could just try re the reverse firing. Yeah. I can feel it breaking. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. What was that? Oh, it got caught? Did you triple bag it there? I did. Okay. Now I'm down to one. I just felt it break. Oh. This is all just one. Let's okay. see, let's see. <laughs> all right, all right. It worked. All right, here we go. I think I've got one, maybe two left in here. I think it should only be one layer, maybe. Mm, maybe so. Just be gentle. Blunderbuss, man. So I'm gonna try to pull it back as far as I can, hoping it doesn't break. Oh, you can hear it kind of cracking. <laughs> it was just like the wood equivalent of like, meh. <laughs> I'm still not convinced that this this handle in the back is, uh, I, I, I'm convinced there's something bad about it, right? Okay. Yeah, I don't know, it feels right. Okay. This is a single layer and no tail. That flew much truer. That was pretty good. You could see it kind of move off to the side. Let me try one more just for grins. Cause that felt, look, also look, it, it looks like it penetrated a little bit deeper. Ah, no, mm. no, we're too far away. Dude, yours was good. It was pretty good. My guess is <laughs> when we did the, uh, the, the horse archery, none of them went in at 35 different angles. Yeah. I'm gonna guess that this is an indication that what we have is not aerodynamic. Yep. That it's barely just kind of flopping up against it. You can see this one, I don't know, penetrated maybe a, a, a quarter of an inch or something. Yeah, they're all going about the same depth too. Yeah, really not like much of a difference. Here, and in fact, if you turn it around, the ones, these are the point blank ones that mm -hmm. really penetrated. These are the ones when we start tried to get some distance. I'm not I, super impressed. Well, the part I am impressed is that none of us hit our hands. Uh, apparently, That's true. Apparently using a bottle top does definitely mm -hmm. help. Weirdly, I, I thought there would be a big difference between firing from the inside and using this as a shield versus the blunderbuss. I don't know if there's style. a super big improvement either way. Yeah, Al although we were using spears, so so the spears going back, you're not going to run the risk of hitting your hand. Right. But 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 I don't know how much that mattered. I'll tell you this much: I feel like this would do less damage than when we were using the ball bearings and the balloons. As a weapon of harassment, I would definitely opt for the prior. This doesn't seem any more reliable. And these are flimsy. You're gonna have to replace these pretty frequently. <sighs> okay, look, there, there is a solution here, but we need the folks in the comments to set us straight, because it's not this. I'd be better off just 
see that that's more dangerous. I should be doing that. I like where your head's at. Sorry, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. We're, we're this is back away slowly. It's fine. Oh, yeah? No. No, no, no. I can run. Also, you can't hit me from here. <laughs> yeah. It's probably true. All right, Brian, I'm like three to five years out from having to go full Statham. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, you're going to adopt a British accent? Yeah, yeah, and some martial arts. <laughs> but also my rescuing hair. people and transporting from place to place. And my hair. I'm going to have to shave my head. Why? What I'm Wait, what's wrong it's, with your it's, head? It's going. It's going. Getting old. Your head is going? My head? Yeah, it's, it's going to fall right off. <laughs> That's what happens. what happens. I assume what you're saying is that we are the target demographic for our friends over at Keeps. Yes. It used to be that keeping your hair was like a big hairy deal. You had to talk to your doctor and be like, well, I don't know. You had to see his judging eyes, his mm -hmm. bead judging doctor's eyes. Yeah. They would bring other nurses in to laugh at you back in the day. All of that is in the past. Thanks to our friends at Keeps. You take a photo of your hairline and you say like, hey, I'm thinning on top. And by the way, this is the real stuff. They actually provide generic versions of the only two FDA approved uh, hair loss drugs. Yeah. And they do it over the internet and it takes you like five minutes to sign up. It's super easy. Even better, they're like, what if we give you this medicine and you got it for about half the cost that it would cost if you went to your local pharmacy. 10 to $35 a month. We're playing for Keeps. We're the Keeps team. They didn't say that. You and I are dying in full force. We're gonna get the full Keeps treatment and everybody should at home, if they wanna keep their freaking hair, go to keeps.com slash rogue, that's R-O-G-U-E. You get one month free and it's uh, it's super affordable and you don't have to see a doctor with their beady doctor's eyes. <laughs> I'm really worried about what doctors you've been going to. It's a mole. <laughs> a mole? Yeah, just, just a mole. <laughs> just, he just paws at me and then hands me a prescription. <laughs> now I'm concerned about what you think doctors are and what you think moles are. They <laughs> Keeps.com slash rogue. Keep the doctor beady eyes where they belong. Yeah. In Why their the doctor castle. They have castles now. Get lots of eye protection for everybody. Holy crap, we're growing up. We have a whole bin of eye protection. Safety bin. All right, right on.